Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. And as you can see on the screen, we have the animal archon himself, Venti. And today is going to be a guy slash showcase surrounding him and what I believe to be his best valued builds and what you can get the best out of him. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and it means a lot to me. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so let me quickly go over some team comps for Venti. So Venti is, of course, a character who works really well off of elemental reactions. And since Geo and Animo don't have a elemental reaction together, you can basically pair Animo with basically every single team, every single team, every single element. So uh, just an example is the Morgana comp. So what that consists of is normally like Aika and a Hydro character like Mona. So for f it's this constant freeze team. So like Aika, Mona, Ganyu, and Venti. Or like Aika, Mona, Rosaria, or Diana, and Venti. So like constant applying freeze. So since um, this team has so much high application so with mona being very fast hydro application ayaka obviously her burst being high application on cryo and since venti can swirl up both those elements you know you can constantly keep people in freeze and keep them in check while in venti's burst that team has worked so well in the abyss so many people use it and i don't blame them for using it it's a very very good team another team that i'll show you in this video as well is a supercharged team so with uh with raiden plus a hydro character like ayato or shing show a benefit for your you know support and then venti venti being the animal character who can lower resistances and can swirl up said elements so with raiden being the electro ayato or shing show for hydro creating that supercharge bennett being healer and attack buff and venti keeping that element reaction together and creating it Venti is a very, very good flex slot and being kind of like the same role as Kazuha, right? So you would have your three main characters, kind of like your main DPS, your sub DPS, and then your support. And then your last slot being like Kazuha, like a buffer, a, another support, or a character who's complete free range, and you can fit whoever you want or feel like is the best value in the team. Venti is a very, very forced slot a flex option so yeah generally any team can work well with venti except for geo and honestly venti has so much value in almost every single team you can pair him with almost any team and he will pop off so yeah uh that's basically all the team comps for venti let me know if you guys have a team comp that you have in mind that you have questions about let me know in the comment section below all right so let's dive into Venti's build options and what I personally am running on Venti. So my Venti is level 90 with Constellation 0 and 188 and a full element mastery build on the Elegy. But in this video, I will be using not only Elegy, but R5 Stringless to show off the damage and stuff like that. So I have 760 element mastery. Of course, no crits because swirl reactions cannot crit and 200 energy recharge. So uh, with my artifacts, I'm running for Veridescent. This should always be the set no matter what you are using on Venti or no matter what build you're doing on Venti, whether it's crit builds or full EM build, always for Veridescent. Uh, other than if you don't have four Veridescent, I guess you can run four Emblem. But this set is so powerful, you really want four Veridescent for Venti. Uh, these are the artifacts I'm going to be using. Uh, with the crit build, I'm going to be switching to a crit rate hat, and I'm going to be switching to a animal damage goblet so we'll be having a crit rate build with 60 crit rate and 125 crit damage uh still be using stringless and elegy uh with only 400 element mastery maybe i can switch around to other pieces 
but uh yeah you'll see along in the video relative stats are going to be this about 60 crit rate with about 120 to 130 crit damage and 200 recharge that will be around the same uh general stats with the elegy though since elegy is an energy recharge weapon uh the only thing that will be changed in my stats is just recharge it'll go from like one like 200 recharge to maybe like 145 to 150 with the stringless since i'm dropping uh recharge for the 165 oh, with mastery so yeah uh those are the really only two weapons that i can really recommend for venti uh actually that's not true uh moon's moon is a decent option for burst damage uh you could also do where is it i believe i do have it the raven's bow because it has elemental mastery as his um as the passive and the substat uh scoured harp i don't unfortunately have it but scoured harp is another a uh, really good option for crit rate and crit damage builds on venti uh wind blue mode element mastery with uh, a decent passive it's pretty good favonius is a okay option not really necessary just because venti gives so much particles to your entire party this is not really necessary but it's a it's okay if you want to run it run it and if you don't have any other options you can use favonius as well uh other than that i don't really see any other options really for venti and uh yeah so this will be split into two different builds as i sh as i talked about earlier one is going to be on this crit build as i showed you with elegy and the stringless and one's going to be a full element mastery build stringless and um the elegy both those builds are the two general builds that is used most on venti and what i'm going to talk about later is which one i recommend for you guys so uh without further ado Let's get right into the video. All right, y'all. So now that we're done with the guide and showcase, let me go ahead and dive back into Venti and what I recommend for Venti. So I like a lot the Element of Mastery build, full EM, and I think that personally is better and easier to build because you don't need to worry about the high crits. Since Sorrel cannot crit, you can just run full EM and recharge some attack percentage and stuff like that on your substats and main stats and get the most benefit from Swirl damage, right? But uh, if you have the same artifact quality, if not better artifact quality, then my crit build, which was 7150 without a crit weapon, without um, any crit food or anything like that, uh, go ahead and use that because it also, if not actually is better than the Elemental Mastery build as well. Both builds work very, very well. Um, for the weapon, I like the Stringless R5 the most because it's a four star option. It's easier to refine since it is a four star and it's easier to understand because the LG has a very, very long and not easy to understand passive. But, um, overall, Stringless is better. Uh, the LG is better for uptime 
on your burst because of the energy recharge but overall the stringless it's so good on venti it's so powerful it is really really good um but both builds both weapons are great on venti uh either or works perfectly fine but uh let me know what you guys like about venti do you guys like the crit build or do you guys like the elemental mastery build uh or do you have a an entirely different build that you have for venti let me know in the comment section below but uh yeah that's basically all i have to say for today on venti if this video was helpful please leave a like and subscribe it helps the channel grow and it means a lot to me but uh, yeah i'm signing off uh hope you guys uh get venti and if you have it good luck venti's banner is still out and you still have some time to get venti but uh, yeah uh, that's basically it and i'll catch y'all in the next video.